Platoon, it's your captain bringing you the best in cartoons along with Vince. Say hello. Hey, you know what? Is it Saturday morning? No, nope. Well, it's not Saturday morning because we don't record this on Saturday morning. So, all right. So, if you're seeing this now, little teaser I record this on a Wednesday, I do not record this on Saturday mornings or Fridays. <clears throat> but, as always, Saturday Morning Serials is brought to you by Are You Game, the best comic book collectible video game, magic, toy store, and more, located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. And you can find us on... Oh, what happened to my voice there for a second? You can find us on Facebook at Are You Game, and you find Group Therapy TV, and you can find all of this on, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, you find me as Captain Cartoon on Twitter. So, last week I brought you some cartoons. <laughs> you guys seem to really like the Archie block. Uh, I had no intention of putting this in a block. I'm keeping it going. Um, but people were telling me to. So, I guess I'll keep it going. Um, and last week we were able to bring you Alf Tales. That's right, Alf Tales. Uh, that is not a cartoon I thought I'd be able to air, but here we are, and there it was, Alf Tales. So, you know, I put that at the end just in case I couldn't air it. But there it is, boom, Alf Tales. So, I know a lot of you guys are complaining because they're like, man, when you talk about comics, you show us the pages. Can you see the cover? Boom, boom. there we go. Uh, some, uh, um, New Universe stuff, which I am a sucker for. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I love going back and reading some of these old uh, Marvel ages. They're so much fun. So, yeah. But, I'm going to be bringing you a pretty good mix of some cartoons. Um, some of these, this is the last episode. Some of these are going to keep going. We're adding a couple new ones. Maybe one at the end. So stay tuned past the credits. But we're going to start out with some Archie. Uh, hey, everybody likes Archie. Goofy cartoon, man. But uh, this is Archie, episode 8. This is Chip Off the Old Block and Who's Afraid of Reggie Wolf? Enjoy. The Jughead B. Whoa, Archie's here. Betty's here. Veronica, too. Reggie's here. And here comes Jughead and Hot Dog, too. So everything's Archie. Come on, let's go with the Archie Show. Hey, do you ever get tired of eating lunch on the school grounds? I do. I think I'll find a nice spot at the city park away from scholarly surroundings. Maybe Jughead would like to join me. Hey, isn't this a groovy idea bringing our lunch to the zoo? I don't know, Art. To me, it's the same as eating at school. Uh, how do you mean, Jug? Well, look around you. There's Reggie. And how about Mr. Weatherby? And Mr. Weary, the school janitor. And, uh, there's Veronica. And don't forget Betty. And last, but by all means least, Big Moose. <laughs> oh. Hey, you lop-eared hulk. Give me back my sandwich. <laughs> 
we were getting back to class. Reggie Mantle. I might have known. Sorry about that blister brain, but I washed my foot this morning and I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> Reggie has to be in tip-top shape for the tryouts today. Tryouts? For the football team, silly. Today I show Coach Cleats what I'm really made of. Well, suppose the coach doesn't like marshmallows. Now, Archie. Ignore the youth, Veronica. He's just jealous because I'm soon to become a four-letter man. We interrupt our program of folk songs to bring you this special bulletin. A two-year-old gorilla is missing from the Riverdale Zoo. The prime suspect is a teenage boy wearing a ridiculous little hat seen loitering near the gorilla's cage earlier today. Oh, that's me. I'm wanted for ape napping. Yikes, the fuzz. Pa, 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 please, officer. It was all a mistake. I am innocent, I tell you. This is the fuzziest fuzz I ever felt. <laughs> Yahoo! And now, for the gang down at Pop's Chocolate Shop, Let's do the gorilla. Students, today we shall study the importance of mood in sentence structure. Jughead. Yes, Miss Grundy. Please tell us the mood of the following sentence. The farmer was busily inspecting his livestock. What mood? Uh, Ramanera, the cow. The cow? Of all the insolence. Young man, I'll give you one more chance to tell me what mood. The gorilla. That's just enough of this monkey business. You report to Mr. Weatherby for disciplinary action. So, up your old monkey shines, eh? M -m 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 monkey shines? Yes, disrupting Miss Grundy's entire English class and... <laughs> semesters. What was that all about? The, uh, the light hurts my eyes, sir. I know something that could hurt your eyes even more, but unfortunately there's some idiotic law against it. Now, help me find my glasses. Yes, sir. I think I saw them right about. Now you've done it. I can't see a blessed thing without them. You pay dearly for this. Mark my words. <laughs> it's no use, Jughead. Pleading will get you nowhere. <laughs> and neither will violence. Good Godfrey, I can't even feel the floor. I'm, I'm paralyzed in the waist down. You crippled me for life. You're okay, Mr. Weatherby. You're just caught on the hat rack. See? You're walking. Yes, straight to the files. And I intend to write a full report on this incident. Even without my glasses, your folder should be easy to find. It's the fattest one in the files. Oh, yes, yes, here it is. In that huge, hairy hand. Huge, hairy hand! Eek, Mr. Weatherby. Is that you, Miss Timkins? Is there anything I can do? Yes. Please shave your arms. I finally managed to shake them. Now I'll just sneak out the back way and... <laughs> oh, no. I have got to return you to the zoo, but how do I sneak you out of here? Hey, that's it. You may not know it, pal, but you have just joined the game. <laughs> oh, Reggie, do be careful. Those other flowers look enormous. No sweat, doll. I'll plow through that line like it was Swiss cheese. But first, I'll need a good luck kiss from my most devoted fan. Certainly, Reggie. Mm. <laughs> Isn't Reg so incredibly light on his feet? You'd be too if you were full of hot air. Hey, Mantle. When do we get the chocolate bars you promised us for taking a jive? Cool it, you clowns. You want to blow the whole deal? Don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you. We better or you'll get what's coming to you. Okay. The coast is clear. Now remember, you are supposed to be a football player, so try not to look too intelligent. So far, so good. Wait! Come back! Who knows? 
Folks, these tryouts attract all kinds of gorillas. Come on, team. Let's make a monkey out of them. Call it, gang. I'll handle this interloper. But Reggie, he's so huge. Well, tut, tut, my dear. The bigger they are, the harder they hit. Cuphead, that player is sensational. He's a sensation. He's a phenomenon. He's a, he's a gorilla. Kings, promise me we'll never break up again. Why, heck I will. It's too much fun getting together again. <laughs> oh, Archie. What do you mean you can't afford the chocolate bars this month? Well, uh, right now I'm a little flat, guys. 76, 43, 89. Hi! wasn't flat before. You are now. Anyway, now I can switch over to basketball. <laughs> and so, now that the matter has been cleared up for the zoo, both Coach Cleats and the faculty have agreed to let him stay on as the team mascot. Yay! Despite his shaggy hair and uncivilized ways, we feel confident he will work out. And so, let's have a rousing cheer for our new school mascot, Jughead Jones. Yay! Monkey's uncle. <laughs> Look, kids, it's just about time for the Archie Dance of the Week. In just a few moments, the gang and I will show you another brand new groovy dance step that you can all watch and learn. So, don't go away. And now, a brand new dance to watch and learn. The Banana Split. Do, do, do the Banana Split. a monkey hanging by his tail when we say split change your partners don't you fail split we've learned a new dance now let's dance it to a brand new song Shining brightly, clouds are smiling up above. My heart is singing lightly. Time, time, time for love. My mind is very picking all the things I'm dreaming of. My heart's a clock top ticking. Time, time.
dog. You check me on the list to see if I remember all my ski coach told me. Keep relaxed, flex knees, keep wrists limber, back curved, head straight, eyes open, knees forward, toes out, stomach in, hat on, hair combed. How'd I do, hot dog? Here goes! Oops, he forgot one thing, his skis! Looks like the joint's really jumping. Guess I'll drop in. Did you get a mysterious phone call to be here at 9.30 this morning, Veronica? Yes, Betty. You too? I wonder who our secret admirer could be. Oh, what you want to do, Reggie? I don't know, Arch. Since it's Saturday and all, how about making the scene at Pop's Chocolate Shop? Being a man's best friend is all right, but this is ridiculous. Ruby, hot dog. I may make money on burgers and malts, but I'm losing it on this. <laughs> Hi, gang. Hop in. Let's take a spin. Hey, wait up, Arch. Here we go again. Where to, group? Mars, the moon, you name it. Anywhere you want, Archie. Or, uh, why not spin out Highway 102, Arch? I, I hear the desert flowers are in bloom. Huh? Hey, I may even meet up with some desert rock hounds. <laughs> Lost mine ahead. Oh, groovy. Well, let's give it the old look-see, huh? I can't resist exploring old abandoned mines. Come on, gang. Ooh, it looks scary. Don't worry, Ronnie. Old Reg will protect you. Come on, hot dog. Don't stray too far behind. Is he kidding? Stay behind in this spooky place. <laughs> uh, um, maybe uh, this wasn't such a hot idea, huh? I'm for cutting out of here. Yow! A runaway mine cart. Quick, everybody jump in. Sorry, Mac. Hit me 
after allowance day when I'm fat. Right you are. <laughs> Are you all right, Jughead? I've had the squeeze put on me before, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> on guard! Great! Uh, I have no weapon! Now you have... Hey, you call that a weapon? Okay! Call it a rocket! seen before from the bones of these mighty dinosaurs. Bone Age. 
Convert to survive! Fire! Taro and Anko are sold separately with a caveman. Bone Age. Hey, I'm sorry. The captain is a little stuffed up, a little sneezy today. Uh, the captain is fighting allergies because local weather is went from super cold to warm to cool to... Yeah, it sucks. It's killing my sinuses. It sucks. So, if you're anything like the captain, I feel sorry for you, and you're probably just like me and all congested and stuff. So, that and the captain's been cleaning the lair a little bit at a time, and there's dust everywhere, because I'm in the lair, in the basement. And that stuff, where does dust go? Down. Down to my lair. So, keeping into the Archie, we're going on on over to Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Um, what's that sucker? Sabrina. Boom. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on vinyl. This is a three volume and it is so good. It's got the orchestral music plus all the music from the cast plus the music they did for the show. Um, so yeah. But Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. And this is Wishbone and the Babysitter. Enjoy. Disappear, yes, it's Sabrina, and her magic power can get her out of trouble. But with Sabrina, you're never sure if you're not seeing double. Cause she's Sabrina, Sabrina the teenage witch. <laughs> I never saw one that changed records that way. Boy, I dig that aroma. What are your aunts cooking, Sabrina? Oh, they're probably just cooking up a witch's brew. Oops, I mean a pot of stew. Zelda, I'm hurrying, sister. That dratted music and stomping has given me a dreadful headache. Oh. Don't worry, Hilda. This potion will cure it. I'll just dispose of the soup bone. I'd best put the lid on good and tight so no dog might be tempted. No telling what would happen if that magic bone fell into the wrong hands or paws. <laughs> Did you see the size of that bone? Wig a ding ding! I 
wish I hadn't wished that. Did you see what I think I saw? I think so. Come on, gang. Everybody to Pop's Chocolate Shop. The malts are on me. I wish they'd take us along sometime. Come on, Hot Dog Junior. Come on, Chili Dog. phenomenon has taken over Riverdale. Fire plugs have mysteriously doubled in size. Meat markets have opened their doors to dogs. City Hall has been strangely remodeled. Cats have been outlawed. Strange phenomenon has that phenomenon? Holy! Sounds like Riverdale is going to the dogs! Maybe it's an invasion from another planet! Yeah, Pluto! Maybe it's the end of the world! Isn't that purely exciting? Exciting? The end of the world? Exciting? Yeah! Groovy! No more homework! No more homework? Groovy! Sheesh! Come on, Sabrina, let's dance. Sure, Harvey. I've got to get out of here and stop those two wild wishers. This calls for the split personality bit. Now to find those two canine culprits. <laughs> Look, Chili, isn't there something we can wish for our fellow pooch? I'm wishing, I'm wishing! Hmm, suddenly I have the strangest urge for a soup bone. <laughs> okay. Fido, I want you to stop chasing cats. After this, I'll do the chasing. <laughs> Hold still now. A little water never hurt anyone. Ow! 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 <clears throat> now, just what do you two think you're up to? Oh, oh, I wish he hadn't showed up. <laughs> hmm. Getting those two to give up that bone isn't going to be easy. Dandy. 
Eventually, the authorities will get their hands on that bone, and then, when they wish they knew where it came from, it'll lead them right back to us. And the whole town will know our trade. Trade? That's it, trade. So you see, Junior and Chili Dog, I am prepared to offer you, in fair trade for your bone, 1,000 brand new bones. Hey! Wow! This one is getting kind of soggy. It's a deal! Yes, folks, Riverdale has returned to normal after what appears to have been a day of mass illusions, as one Riverdale citizen put it. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Quit grumbling. You were in favor of the trade at the time, too. I forgot about having to bury them. I'll hold the lantern, <laughs> and you dig a while. What a day this has been, Salem. <laughs> Yes, it was a real ball. Ball? Dance? Oh my gosh, I'm still dancing with Harvey at Pops. Come on, Sabrina. You may want to dance all night, but I can't. I'm pooped. I'd love to go on a picnic with you. Uh-oh! Looks like we're going to have company. I knew it. My nose itched. Okay, Harvey. I'll be ready. So long. <laughs> Hello, Hilda. Zelda. Hello, Hello Della. Della. And, of course, dear Sabrina. Um... Hello, Miss Della. Uh, Sabrina, I have a small request to ask of you. Why, of course. Uh, anything. Yes. I was wondering if you would babysit my young nephew. Little oh, Hexter? Sure, Miss Della. He won't be any bother at all. <gasps> Hexter, you get us down from here at once. Ha ha! Not until you sing like three little pretty birds. <laughs> Why, you little. Oh, Auntie Della! We'll play with my cuddly stuffed animals. <laughs> Thank goodness. See that? Now I think I will stack some blocks. <laughs> City blocks. <laughs> here's Phylum, here's Phylum. Nice, kitty, 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 kitty. He's all yours, Sabrina. Come, sister, the phone. But I didn't hear any phone ringing. You will. <laughs> I swear I just saw two witches on a broom and they came from the direction of Sabrina's. Oh, there you are, you sneaky little kitty cat. <laughs> Ding dong bell, pussy's in the well. Now, flying cat. Disappearing wells? Oh, my. 
Harry, it's Harvey, the picnic. Oh, goody, goody. We're going for a picnic. We're going for a picnic. <laughs> it looks that way. I'm glad you don't mind my bringing Hexter along, Harvey. That's okay, Sabrina. It doesn't really matter. Hi, Sabrina. Reggie? I uh, hope you don't mind me coming along, too. <laughs> Flying brooms, flying cats, disappearing wells. I can't stop now. I like him. <laughs> He's obnoxious. Now, Hexter, boy, what a time for someone to become suspicious of me with Hexter around. How old are you? Huh? Hey, how'd you do that, kid? How'd the kid get back here, huh, Sabrina? Huh? He probably floated back, Reggie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why not? Sure. <laughs> oh, Sabrina, would you please pass me the pickles? Sure, Reggie. Oh, never mind, Sabrina. I'll pass them to you, Reggie. Whoops! Look, Harvey, look! Oh, dear. I can't let Harvey see this. Look at what, Reggie? Whoops! Flying pickles! Flying pickles! Hey, <laughs> Never mind. Come on, Reg, let's play ball. I'll have to jump for that one. Oh, I'll help you, Reggie. Got it. Hey. Uh-oh. Extra, get Reggie down here immediately. All right, Sabrina. Either my legs are extra strong or I was standing over an underground spring. Yo -yo! Strange. I never had a bat melt over my head before. I'll help you get it off, Harvey. See that he falls on something soft, Hexter. All right, Sabrina. Hmm, there's something soft. <laughs> Sounds like Reggie is out of breath. No wonder. What's he doing on that? Oops. Oops, stuck again. Yow! Wow! Yowie! That looks like fun, Reggie. Oh, wow! Wow! Record. You can say that again. Record. Record. I tell you, that kid is a demon. A sorcerer, uh, a, a warlock. A warlock? And Sabrina's a teenage witch. A teenage witch? witch. Brickery brick, brickery brack. To the beginning of this dilemma, take us back. <laughs> Two witches on a broom. Probably just my imagination. Now that that is taken care of, I want a word with you, young man. From now on, there'll be no more zipping and no more zapping. Or else. I've said my piece. You can go ahead and let me have it. Golly, Sabrina, no one ever took time to talk to me before. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. Phew. I had the nicest time with Sabrina, Auntie Della, and I made a new friend, Reginald. <laughs> we went on a nice picnic. Well, it's time to go. Thank you again, Sabrina. 
Thanks to you, Extra. You can always bring little Hexta back anytime, Miss Della. He's always welcome. Woo! Sliver! Little Hexta, always welcome? You know something about a trip to China, sister. An hour after getting home, you're ready to go back again. <laughs> There goes my imagination again. Outlaw Scuzz's days in Fort Carrium Jail are numbered. The evil Tex Hex is planning a jailbreak. Now for the bank and all that Carrium. Break Star's hawk like eyes see the danger. Has the evil Tex Hex finally won? Or is Fort Carrium safe with Brave Star? Only you know the answer. Neutral Laser, Command Center, Bank Jail set, and figures each sold separately. Batteries not included. Some assembly required. Brave Star from Mattel. I know you guys ask, you know, they're like, well, why can some people show this cartoon? You can't. Why is this cartoon on YouTube, but you can't put it on? I don't know. I've legitimately, see, I thought that was the bar. Okay, if it's already on there, I can mix it and use it for my show. That is not the case. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, like the He-Man channel, the G.I. Joe channel, Transformer channel, those I can't use because those are actually the channels. So they, they have those. So, but... There are certain shows. There are shows that aren't on here at all. Or there are shows that are on here that I can't air. You know? I don't know. It's a YouTube algorithm. I apologize. But there's a lot of them that are already on here that I cannot air. Um, so, you know. I keep trying some stuff every once in a while. And they keep, they'll keep shut me down. So, alright. Hope you guys enjoyed Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. We're going to keep it going because you all keep asking for Josie. And uh, we're going to bring you more Josie. Uh, this is episode 14 of Josie and the Pussycats. And this is Spy School Spoof. Enjoy. We must retrieve the black box. Quick, the sleep pellets. Sleep pellets. Wow, what a view. Imagine Josie and the Pussycats in Paris. Gee, what a funny telescope. It makes everything look teeny weeny. Dum dum. That's because you're looking through the wrong end. Help! Somebody do something! Don't go away, sis. I'll save you. No! Got to stay away. Ouch! Sorry about that, sir. The box. Take it. Guard it with your lives. The shadow is after it. The shadow? Is that the guy who used to be on radio? No, silly. But what'll we do with the box, sir? The gargoyle 
We did. Gargoyle? Gosh, he passed out. I wonder what's in the box. I don't know, but I bet it spells danger for us. Why? Because every time danger is near, Melody's ears start to wiggle. And the way they're flapping now, we're in for big trouble. have the black box. We'd better try to wake this guy up. How about trying smelling salts? Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they still smell. Phew! If you ask me, I think we should get him in the shade. How about that? Instant shade. That's not shade. It's a shadow. Shadow? The box. I will take it. Yipes! It is the shadow. Let's split, cats. Into the restaurant. Is everybody set? I'm ready. I should have known that Josie would manage to be with Alan. Shh, I hear them coming. They're in here somewhere. Lucky you had that twine in your pocket, Alan. Now let's just hope that your plan works. Working. Keep pulling those strings. I'll bet Josie's sitting over there letting Alan do all the work. Keep quiet and keep pulling. Now's our chance to scoop. They've gone into the kitchen, you fools. Hurry! I hope we can fool them in these French chef outfits. I'll make French fried popcorn. <laughs> make it good, guys. We'll stay out of sight in these sacks. Congratulations, Josie. You finally found the dress that's perfect for you. A potato sack. Hm. Who are you? Who, me? I'm a... a... He is Pierre Lochiquin, king of these chefs. And who are you? I am his assistant, Monsieur Creep. Mm. Uh, let us commence with today's delicacy. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, today we cook especially for the creeps. Uh, something to suit the personalities, eh? Let us begin with broth of the eel. Eels? Yes, and tails of snails. Mm. Tails of snails? Oh. Oui, with French fried lizard toes. Ugh, lizard. Oh, I don't feel too well. Hey! Oh, leave it to Alexandra to overdo it. It's them. Cooking class dismissed. Let's go, gang. Oh, groovy. Poppity popcorn. <laughs> Better 
take over. The box. Don't you know it's not polite to grab? Ouch! Going down. They're right behind us. Move over. I'll take us down on the double. to me. It's it again. I think that barrel actually hates us. Oh, 
would you like to be done in by a hit and run barrel? Relax. I'll lead you to safety. Through that door. Oh, no. Help! Throw me a life jacket, a lifeboat, anything. Help! Relax, sea chicken. We've landed on an iceberg. Huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, too bad I didn't bring my ice skates. This is really cooling it the hard way. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but it makes me sleepy. Look! It's the shadow! Then it's time to get out of here. Start paddling. Hey, you feline freeloader. Get busy or get off. <gasps> And now this outdoor freezer. I'll catch pneumonia. I just know it. Maybe we should change the name of our act to Josie and the Eskimo Cat. <laughs> Very funny. I wonder if we finally lost the shadow. No chance. Here he comes again. Oh, swell. He's motorized while we're stuck with dog power. Can't you get more speed out of the melon? Mush! Mush! How do you know they like mush? <laughs> Close in. Full speed. We've got to get more speed. Maybe this bone will do the trick. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. There's no telling where we're going. How to see the world in one uneasy lesson. Trolls, Melody. Yeah! Nice going, sis. Ride him, cowboy. Mm. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I've never been on a train before. You should be riding in a caboose, Josie. Bon voyage! Oh, I just love submarines. We're back in Paris at last. And not a shadow of the shadow in sight. Now let's get rid of that crummy black box so I can do a little sightseeing. How can you think of sightseeing when we still don't know how or where to find that mysterious gargoyle? Do I have to think of everything? Let's get on this sightseeing bus. Maybe it'll drive by something that'll give us a clue. Sis, for once you got a bright idea. Welcome. At last we meet again. On second thought, sis, it was a bad idea. <laughs> so, at last, the black box is mine once again. Big deal. Why is that box so important to you? That's my little secret. Just who are you, anyway? No one will ever learn the identity of the Shadow, especially you pests. <laughs> well, sis, you wanted to go sightseeing. How do you like this one? Ah, uh, dry up. Good idea. I wish I could dry up. My feet are all wet. <laughs> There has to be some way out. Here's a small sliding door. <laughs> it's locked. I've got an idea. We'll use this bar to pry open the door. One good jump on the end of that bar ought to do it. 
Steady, dumb brother. I'm trying, I'm trying. But you're rocking the boat. Whoops! Get your big foot off my hand, you oaf. Look out! <laughs> Exactly according to plan, but it's a way out. Come on! Are you sure this door is the way out? I'm positive. Follow me. Yipe! Don't look now, but we're back in the Shadow's secret headquarters. And this time, there shall be no escape. <laughs> now, see that they do not leave this room. Alive. You gotta catch us first. Let's blend. Responsible for Interpol capturing the shadow, I felt you should be here for the final wrap-up of the case. The black box is really an electronic key. Watch when I press the secret button. Wow, it's projecting a light beam. And look, the gargoyle's mouth is opening. And hidden inside is a microfilm list of every shadow agent in the entire world. Soon they will all be in jail with their leader. Thanks to you. Why, it wasn't really anything, Monsieur Dubois. We were, uh... Knock it off. I want to do some sightseeing. Just a minute. Before you go, I have this for you. Oh, no. Not another box. Let's swing out of here. Hey, wait. It's only a box of chocolate bonbons. <laughs>
check it out. Zach's going to show you what work's about. It's the block, it's the block. I am the future of What can I do? No need to panic, no need to get scared. You can make the future by being prepared. Ask what do I like to do? What jobs are suited to me? I like to skate. I like to go bowling. But my favorite hobby is cutting and sewing. You can get going, plan a business sewing. It's your job, it's your job, your future job. There are many jobs you can train for. Seamstress tailor, costume designer, alterations, pattern maker. I am the blob, the future blob. It's no blob when you plan for a job. Don't be afraid, make a career and get paid. Do your job, do your job, plan for a future job. And you won't see the mean of future blob. Water Wiggle Water Toy. Your parents attach it to any garden hose. From Wabo. We'll return after these messages. The Force is back. The Rebels won't tire till they see the last of the Empire. And Kenner's there with Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. I'm gonna feed you to throw off it, Skywalker. Glad to. We Quay, Luke Skywalker, and Lando Calrissian each sold separately. Prepare the plank, We Quay. Surprise, surprise, I'm Lando in disguise. Let's get out of here, Luke. Whoa, the plank is falling. Help! Glad to. We Quay, Luke Skywalker, and Lando Calrissian action figures each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. I hope you're still liking Josie and the Pussycats. And uh, I know I do. I think it's a fun little cartoon. Very Scooby-Doo-ish. So, here you guys go. That's right. You saw it last week, the first episode. This week we're bringing you Alf Tales Episode 2. And uh, this is Cinderella. Uh, There's funny because there was two Alf shows going on. Uh, you had Alf, which took place on his home planet. And it told all the tales before he got to Earth. And then this one is them retelling Earth fairy tales, but on Namekia. So, you know, it's a fun little cartoon. Um, I never thought that Alf warranted two cartoons, but here we are. So, this is Alf Tales, Episode 2, Cinderella. Enjoy. Hi! It sure is a beautiful day for an elf tale. The sky is blue, the flora is lush, the birds are singing their sweet song of friendship. Wait, wait. Shoo! <laughs> uh, this is the setting for today's tale, Cinderella. It takes place in an enchanted time. A time of magic and music and merriment. A time years before you were born. A time called 1962. This is the home of young Cinderella Fitzgerald. Something's about to happen to Cindy that'll change her life. All I can tell you is that it involves a man, a pompadour, and a guitar. Let's rock. Shumway is coming to Blandsville. The Prince of Rock and Roll is doing a concert here. I wish. I can't afford tickets to the concert. My dad won't get them for me. Okay, Earth, bye. If you treat me bad, gonna feel so blue. Come on, baby, tie my shoe. You're my fur baron, sweetie, gal. <sighs> Come in. Well, hi, Princess. Say, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Cinderella, this is Tilly Fitzgerald, your new stepmother. We were just married. 
I saw her in the frozen food section this morning, and I knew I had to make her mine. <laughs> this is my daughter, Cinderella. I know a plastic surgeon. Good, good. Uh, uh, say, there's someone else I'd like you to meet. Oh, Janet, Latoya. Her hair is so icky. This furniture is icky. Her clothing is icky. She and her environment stink in general. Cindy, these are your new stepsisters, Janet and Latoya. <laughs> hey, aren't you going to say hello? Good, good. Uh, say, Cindy, did you know that your mom and the girls have one of those rock and roll music acts? I'm Janet, the shy one. I'm Latoya, the funny one. And I'm Kelly, the mom one. And we're... Boom, 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 boom. The evil stepmoms. I've got to go get my putter waxed. Why don't you girls get to know one another? Wait, I'll have this. Oh, I want no, more oh, that. Oh, that's what I want. I want it. Oh, A zip, a zip, a biddly biddly bop to you and you. That was real good, fellas. Buy yourselves some Cadillacs. Gee, thanks, Gordo. That's great, G. You get good, great stuff, y'all. Fan to get fantastic. Yeah, bring a tear to my eye. How you doing, my little gusher? I want to get married. Be married? Wow. Everybody go home. You're upsetting Gordo. You are disturbing his delicate b -b -b balance. It's not the guys, Colonel. Heck, most of them are my cousins and former cellmates. Well, well, what the d -d dang heck is the problem then? <laughs> but, but, but what about the tremendous income I make off you? I, I mean, what about your career? Every gal in the country wants to marry you. You get married, they'll stop b -b -b buying your records. I'm a yearning for the simple life. I'm gonna find me a bride at the concert tonight. A at the concert? You're talking crazy, boy. I'm talking fate. When I spot the girl with that special look in her eye, I'll know she's my hunk of burning love. Whoa! Yeah! Colonel? What? You got some angle on this? I've been thinking. Let's, let's announce that you want to get married. Hey, get a little publicity. Just remember, I want to keep this personal and private-like. I'll notify the papers, uh, the networks, and every person in the world. Uh, they'll all be at the concert. Whatever you want. Just don't make a big deal out of it. Marry Gordo tonight. Gordo will pick a bride at tonight's concert at Town Hall. This is the Flip Flip Talking. has agreed to create two national holidays in honor of Gordo Shumway's marriage. The Russian premier was reported to say, Da is good. I can't believe the big concert is in two hours and we don't have tickets. I want us to marry Gordo. Yeah, and become his backup singers. Well, it looks like we'll just have to stay home and torment Cinderella. Imagine becoming Mrs. Gordo Shumway. You? Mary Gordo? <laughs> <laughs> Say, I almost forgot. Sid at the office gave me a couple of tickets. They're for some bowling tournament or dog show or Gordo concert or something. <laughs> Good, 
Good. Good. Oh, oh Daddy. Ever since Tilly and Janet and Latoya arrived, they've been tormenting me and robbing me and driving me like a slave. <laughs> well, you make sure to study hard and floss regularly. I love Dondi. Now, while we're at the concert, you'll make sure to sweep the chimney. And cut the firewood. And finish up that radiation research in the basement. We're off to Mary Gordo. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I love Blondie, too. Blondie and Dondie. And Dennis the Menace. A half hour to the concert. I'll never get to see Gordo. And the odds are even slimmer that I'll marry him. Say, did you murmur something, Princess? <laughs> I wish I had someone I could turn to. Someone who would get me to a concert. A fairy godmother. Why do you come to me now? You never asked for my help before. Fairy godmother? I have been watching you. I have seen how your new stepmother and stepsisters have mistreated you. The time has come to make them pay for what they have done. What can you do? I'll grant you three wishes I cannot refuse. Well, I want to go to the concert, but I, I can't go in these rags. I tell you, it's a terrible thing. There I am, minding my own business, when this beautiful ball gown, size six, and matching pumps, size seven, and I don't know what to do with such beautiful items. They're beautiful. Please accept these gifts as a token of my friendship. Thank you, Willie, for your services. What are these beautiful things? I don't have any way of getting to the concert. There I am, minding my own business when I and this new two-tone Ford Crown Victoria stretch fall off the back of a truck. I don't know what to do with such a beautiful item. In the glove compartment, you will find a ticket to the concert tonight. And in the trunk, a very experienced hairdresser. Thank you, Godmother. But you must leave the concert tonight by 9.30. Midnight. 9.35. 11.30. Quarter to ten. One moment later, and you'll bring shame on me and my family. A quarter to ten. How can I thank you? Someday... And that day may never come. I may call on you to perform a service. Until then, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. But where are you going? I have to see a man about a horse. <laughs> Time to get these lights real low. Because during the next five minutes, I'm going to find me a woman and fall deeply in love. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen so many big stars so eager to see a concert. Wait a minute. Who's that? Please don't treat me bad. Wow, what a woman! <gasps> if you treat me good, then, then I won't be sad. If you treat me bad, gonna be so blue. Yeah. my shoes. 
I've got money, I've got hair. Lobster, Thermidor. You just can't help loving me. Uh-uh. But you know what? But I love me more. It's a quarter to ten. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. <laughs> what a flighty chick. But I like it. I like it. of Gordo merchandise. The, the, the biggest sellers were the Gordo Shumway Smell Like Me Neckerchief and the Gordo Shumway Sneer Like Me Lip Clip. I don't care. I don't care about nothing except finding that girl. Room service. Come in. I can't put her out of my mind. Everywhere I look, I see her. No, no, that's just rid rid ridiculous, son. Oh! Oh! I can't help it. I'm in love. Here you go. Thank you. Well, what's so special about that g g g gal? <laughs> what's your p, p point? I gotta find that chick, but I don't know her name, her number. Hey. Those glasses give me an idea. You wear glass slippers, right? Yep. Give me one. This will do very nicely.
someone's at the door. Hi, Gordo Shumway. Raiden Gua, Gornish Shulman. Yeah, forever. I'm looking for that wonderful vision of beauty that sang with me at my concert last night. Me. It was me. I'm telling you. It was me. It was me. It was me. You just... When I find the woman who can shatter this glass slipper with her voice, I'll know I have my true love. <laughs> nice try. There are other women in the house? Women? Not, Not a one. one. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Nope. Nope. You've got money, you've got hair. What upon the door? That velvet vibrato. It smells for me! Help loving you, but you love you. <laughs> it's you. You are my princess of rock and roll. And you are my prince. Pardon me. This is all your fault! My fault? You put her in the piano! Ma, she says it's my fault! I hate you both! Now I have to find a whole new family to exploit! Romance, boys. You, you know something out of the out of the storybooks. <laughs> you could, 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 could quote me on that. Hey there, letter lovers. Today's mailbag supplies us with a lovely poem from Little Ally Ginsburg of Greenwich, Connecticut. It's entitled Ode. To the Alpha, and I'd like to read it to you. Okay, Ringo, a little more atmosphere, please. Who is this fellow, the Alpha? So winsome, so furry, so cute. What is the best thing about him? His courage, his kindness, his snoot? What is his leaning, the Alpha? Republican or Democrat? Why is he belching, the Alpha? Is he digesting a cat? Where is he going, the Alpha? What trials and travels in store? Where is he going, this Alpha? To the bathroom to make number four. See you next week. Ooh. And now you can bring all the action of Batman home with the Batmobile, action figures, and more. Each item sold separately from Sharon Toy. They battled an incredible battle chariot, the ram, the tiger, the reindeer. Battle beast. And in battle transport vehicles that change into battle stations, the beetle, firebird, and shark. Battle beast. And to carry your army, there's the bandolier. Let's battle! Boy! Battle Beast can grow into an army. Bandolier, 
chariots and transports, each sold separately. You know, I'm going through these whole things, and uh, somebody asked me what my uh, favorite, because uh, I had a picture of the uh, Return of the Jedi models, and I was like, man, three of these are some of my favorite ships. That is the shuttle, the Lambda class shuttle, uh, the A-wing fighter. Uh, I love the B-wing, uh, but I'm also a sucker for the speeder bike. Love the speeder bike. Uh, man, I, I, if, if those were real, I'd have died on one by now. Man, because... You see what... It, they were riding those on a planet covered in trees. You know, that just... Uh, silly thing to be on a planet covered in trees. Is that a ship, though? Yeah. Right? Ship. Yeah. Yes. I'm also a sucker for the B-Wing. But, um, I'm going to say that the, if you ride on it, it's a ship. And it flies. It doesn't fly high. All right. The vehicle. So, you know, I hope you guys like the Alpha Tales. It's a f fun little cartoon. And, uh, of course, you always, I, I think it's because they, they, they didn't have to really rewrite much. Because they just used pre-existing stuff. You know, fairy tales. But, here we go. We're getting into the last episode on these next two cartoons. That's right. Laser Tag Academy, episode 13. <gasps> 13! We're done. This is it. This is the last one. 13. <sighs> Laser Tag Academy. Uh, this is Jamie and the Spitfires. Enjoy. <laughs> A thousand years from now, a perfect world. Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Greer. through time in his quest to conquer the future he is pursued by jamie jaron jamie must team with her ancestors tom beth and nikki jaron join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past save the future and keep the peace established by the laser tag academy Back at the Jaren's house, the laser tag group is having a secret meeting. But somebody else is very interested. This time I'm gonna get him right in the act. He's a great on videos, Jamie. Who's the guy? He's pretty good. Corbin Tucker. I beat him for the Laser Tag Championship. He looks like mean competition, but he's cute. Aha! Uh -huh. Laser Tag? This must be some intergalactic invasion of Earth! Ferguson? <laughs> You're a grunge, <laughs> Ferguson! Ow, ow, ow! Academy for cheating. I haven't talked to him since.
know we're here, Nova. Sign it. Very impressive. I like that hand salute thing. Which of you delinquents is Corbin Tucker? I am. Who are you? Yeah, how did you get in? I'm here to take over your little group. In case that's a void between your ears, we're the Spitfires and you're not taking over anybody. Push this old mold back into yesterday. Meet my gang. Skugs! <laughs> Spitfires. I never liked Corbin Tucker. I knew he wasn't Academy material. No, you're wrong, Daniels. Regardless of what he did here, I know Corbin Tucker. He's a good kid at heart. I'll find him and straighten him out. Come on, Beth. I thought you said you could fix it. I'm missing the game. Relax. I'm going as fast as I can. Jamie, I need to talk to you. Let me guess. Dreer's given Columbus the wrong directions to America. Not this time. Jamie, this is about Corbin Tucker. What's he been up to? He's in with a gang called the Spitfires. They're causing a lot of problems. I need you to find him before he gets in real trouble. But I wouldn't know where to start looking for Corb, Professor. Start with the hangouts. Jamie, are you going to go help your friend in 3010? I want to come. I'm on my way. Tag champ. Do you know where I can find Corb? Maybe. You know, uh, we play a different game down here. 
I'm not interested. Too bad, because you're already in it. This is part of the abandoned monorail system we're in now. All you do is tunnel through the rest of the way, and you'll be in the control room of the Academy. Are you sure you can get me there? No sweat. going to find me instead. Tucker, and this is your solution? Two primitive kids from a thousand years ago? I'm not impressed, Olanga. Hey, we're not so primitive. Well, huh, I guess I told her, huh? How are we gonna find Jamie if her star sensor's not working? This tracking device has been tuned to Jamie's biowaves. It's not perfected yet. It's better than nothing. None of this was supposed to happen. I'm sorry I got you into this mess, Jamie. Corb, you were the best. Why did you cheat on your exams? I couldn't take Daniels anymore. She had me convinced I couldn't make it. Uh, what's the difference now? I've blown it for good. All right, Tucker, let's go! I'll get out of here. Leave a trail. Hmm. 
You two take Come care on. of the other Jaren brats when they show up. Mom, stop fooling around. I'm trying to fix this thing or we're never going to find Jamie. Okay, okay. I still want to figure a way to take this hover jet home with me. Just a couple of more adjustments. Uh, that's it. It's a weak signal, but at least it works. Uh-oh. I must be going too fast. There's a cop after us. Uh, what's the speed limit around here, Beth? There isn't any. Scott! Hey, that's seven. care of those clowns. This is just like playing a video game. Watch this. Pretty good, huh, Beth? I told you. Lightens in a box of popcorn. We'd better get to the academy soon, Tucker. Remember that ice is melting. Uh, we go right. We're almost there. Jamie can find us. What century you're in, all dumps look the same. She's under here, under the ground. That's easy. I'll beam us through. No, we can't. These buildings are so old, they'll collapse right on top of Jamie. So what do you suggest? We start digging in by way of China? There's got to be an entrance somewhere. Uh, Beth, what's fat, furry, and lives in crumbling buildings? Follow that rat! Yeah. <laughs> 
out, Jamie. Let's go home. I want you guys to go to the recycling plant. What for? Dreer stashed the Spitfires there. Get them out. I'm gonna stop Dreer. He's breaking into the academy. Meet me there. Beth, let me have your starlight. don't think you've got the stuff to make it at the Laser Tag Academy. However, Professor Olaga has persuaded me to give you another chance. I think he's earned it. With all due respect, Dr. Daniels, I plan on proving you wrong. We're all pulling for you, Tucker. So, uh, what's the Laser Tag Academy rule for this one? You always get a second chance? Not quite, Tom. It's no one can keep a good kid down. Thanks, Jamie, for everything. That's what friends are for, Corb. From the Vernon Key Cars Collection. Flashy sports cars, classics, rugged trucks and racing rigs. All ready for power, key action. Push in those keys and give them a squeeze. You can run them and crash them. You can race them. Burning Key Cars. Yeah, with some key sports, 
There are 20 Vernon Key Cars, each sold separately. Vernon Key Cars come with a color-coordinated keychain. Each car sold separately. New from Kidco. He made me cough with his awesome grip of evil. Fisto, Battle Armor, He-Man, Clawful, and Battle Armor, Skeletor, each sold separately. You asked for it, Clawful. Meet Fisto with his super smash power. We'll see who smashes who. May the mightiest power prevail. Fisto and Clawful figures new from the Masters of the Universe collection, each sold separately. Other action figures also sold separately. From Mattel. Hey, I hope you liked Laser Tag Academy. I am a sucker for Laser Tag Academy. Uh... Like I said, it's dumb and weird and crazy, and I enjoyed it because it's dumb, weird, and crazy. Um, some people didn't like it. It's over. It's done. We're going to find a new cartoon next week. Um, so, you know, I keep telling everybody, I was like, man, there it is. Models. Models, models, models. Boom. Hi, bud. Do a belly flop. You're going to do a belly flop? I wouldn't do a belly flop there. So, when was the last time you read a comic book that had an ad for models in it? I bet it's been a long time. Um, this is boom, rom. Ow. I am a sucker for rom. So, all right, here we go. Next last episode. Next last episode. That is Ultra Force. Uh, this is episode 13 of Ultra Force. And uh, this is done too. This is the last. This is the end, my friend. My only friend, the end. I don't want to get a copyright strike on that, so we'll just end it at that. So, <laughs> this is Ultra Force Episode 13, Jumping the Boneyard. Uh, I enjoy the last episode of Ultra Force. this universe. What? What happened to me? That sound like a thousand cries for help, but from where? You never wondered where that lightning came from? No, but suddenly it feels like the most important thing in my life. I have to know what made me an Ultra. One minute we're a bunch of strangers, and all of a sudden we're, we're fighting Ultra Force. You can call me Grenade. Just call me Zip Zap. I'm Electrocute. And you can call me Spectral. Atom Bob, at your service. I've decided to give you another chance. This wouldn't be about a stolen space shuttle, would it? We're counting on you and Ultra Force to bring it back, son. Stop! No one will harm the entity. Whoa. What's in there? Before it destroys Prime. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we can't let.
let you interfere. No one will harm the entity. You don't understand. Primeval didn't mean any harm. With a name like Primeval? You've got to be joking. It was just trying to protect the entity. Go quickly. Let's find Prime while they're still distracted. I homed in on his comlink signal. Ah! Excellent work by creation. Now destroy him. Yow! This guy's been taking his vitamins. You serve your master well, Prime Evil. Do not let him escape. Even Prime himself cannot survive your energy-absorbing powers. Excellent. Prime is finished. Now destroy the others. And I thought I had trouble keeping myself together. Stop them! They're heading for the entity! Topaz, prototype, listen to me. We don't want to hurt you, but you must stay away from the entity. Why? What is this entity? Let me explain. The strangers and I were all hit by lightning flashes that came from the entity. That's how we all got our powers. The entity was calling us here. It created us to protect it. That's still no reason to steal a multi-billion dollar space shuttle. Nor to attack your allies. Someone or something is controlling you. All I know is this shuttle belongs to Ultratech, and I'm taking it home. No one leaves the moon until the Keeper of the Entity decrees it so. Wait. If this Entity truly means no harm, why will it not call off the one you call Primeval? Lord Boneyard must be certain the Entity is safe. Boneyard? So he's behind this. We must attack at once. You don't understand. Lord Boneyard is the keeper of the entity. Fools! Boneyard is the very personification of evil. He has wreaked havoc countless times in my own dimension. She's not going anywhere. Ah! Ah! Prototype, wait! We have no choice but to take the shuttle. Tell it to Ultratech. I'm just the repo man for this bucket of bolts. This bucket of bolts happens to be our ride home. <laughs> Fascinating how a well-placed magic spell can keep all my enemies fighting amongst themselves. Just so long as they all remain distracted from my true purpose. Oh. Ghoul, are you all right? I'm sensing a strong presence. As if the entire moon was crying out in pain. Could it be this entity everyone's been talking about? Don't know. I've never tried to read a whole moon before. No. Uh, too much information. Too many worlds. I, I can't contain it all. It's all right, Ghoul. Uh, Just ask it what it wants. OK, entity. How about the Reader's Digest condensed version of your life story? The entity is some kind of organic computer, memory core of a space vessel from a distant world. It crashed here when the moon was still more. Man, this thing's older than George Burns. So it's been stuck up here for millions of years trying to bring help from the Earth. It's been beaming signals that have jumpstart effects on humanity. The entity's been trying to create ultra beings capable of getting to the moon and helping it complete its mission. It's gathered all this incredible knowledge of the universe, but doesn't have any place to send it. Knowledge of the universe? I must see this entity for myself. Contrary, wait, there's something else you should know.
Please don't get up on my account. I much prefer a captive audience. Who are you? And what are you doing to the entity? You may call me Boneyard. Remember it well, for it is the name of your new lord and master. I serve no master. Oh, but you shall, my dear. You and your entire planet. Observe. By utilizing the power of the entity, I shall create a breach between your dimension and mine. Once the two worlds are linked, I shall summon my minions. Then I shall rule both worlds! Not if I can help it, Chrome Dome. Don't give up! Uh, uh, I, uh, let go of me, you filthy male barbarian! Hard case, wait! Don't go too far! I can't maintain your indigo aura! So that's how they survive without spacesuits. You can't win, prototype! It's three against one! then I guess it's time we level the playing field. Are you crazy? Let him out! Without Spectral's Indigo Flame to protect them, the others will all suffocate. <laughs> What sorcery is this? So how come you're still standing? I'm an android. I don't need to breathe. Since you kids can't play nice, I just had to separate you. Where'd they go? Never mind them. Boneyard must be stopped! So this is an entity. Who dares interrupt Boneyard? Careful where you fire. We don't want to harm the entity. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Ah! happened to us? Boneyard had you all under a spell. He had you convinced he was the keeper of the entity. So how do you know so much, corpse boy? Eh, me and the moon just had us a little heart to heart. It told me Boneyard's been messing with the entity and this is the result. He's got contrary captive. I've tried to beam her out of there but there's too much interference. We've got to stop Boneyard before he destroys the earth. Surrender now, sorcerer. Or face the wrath of the Queen of Gwendor! Perhaps the Queen would prefer to return to her domain. My breach to our dimension is almost complete. Help me open it, and you can return home to Gwendor. No! Keep away from that dimensional breach. Why aid this contrary woman? What has she ever done for you? No, I will not betray my ally. Very well. I shall simply resort to other methods of persuasion. Primeval, attack! Just a few more moments and the dimensional breach will be completed! Right! Let's slam them, strangers! You mean, let's force it! 
Sorry, ghoul. You're outnumbered. But not for long. Nice of you to join us, kid. Come forth, my evil minions. Lay waste to these ultras, so your master may rule this dimension! Oh, mama. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. <laughs> Let's send these monsters back where they came from. Wherever that is, Me ugly. Yeah, not so fast, Dragon Breath. We're dropping anchor. <laughs> what have you done to my pet? Your spell's broken, Boneyard. You don't control us anymore. No matter. It served its purpose. You may destroy him now, Primeval. <sighs> You know, I can transform magic, too. Uh, put me down! I specifically requested business class! Uh, 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 gotcha, dead guy! Oh, let's head for the cave. Contrary needs our help. Contrary? Cool. Dang! What happened here, lady? It's no use! It, it won't budge! Mind if I try? Your assistance is appreciated. Now to revive our friends. What happened? Prime Evil! Attack! <laughs> Great. This is where we came in. Let's get back to the ship. Hurry! What are we running away for? I have an idea. If we can send the entity back to its home, Boneyard won't be able to control it. But how do we do that? It hasn't moved in over 60 million years. Exactly. I think the entity is programmed not to return home until it transmits its message. So let's give it something to transmit too. Just keep the ship steady and away from that dimensional breach. I've established contact, and we're ready to download. Now. I'm losing control over the entity. They'll destroy my dimensional breach. Stop them at once, my creation. The computers are overloaded. We're losing control of the ship. Let's get these lizards back into that breach before it closes up. Uh. Get along, little doggies. Computer memories at capacity. We can't complete the download. Prototype, we need to borrow your suit's computer system. I'm a little busy at the moment. Just move over to the entity. It knows what to do. Whoa! Contrary! You're overloading my suit's internal memory chips. Just stay with the entity. We did it. Earthlings will never defeat Boneyard! Maybe not. But we can send you back home. Ah! That's right! Let's force it! Looks like everything's cleared up back home. You'd think it could at least say thank you.
That's right, Leland. Your shuttle's coming home. But on one condition. You drop all charges against the strangers. Never! Come on, Stan. It'll be great PR for the company, considering they just helped save the world. Otherwise, we'll just thumb a ride with Contrary, and you can send up a tow truck. Uh, you want the brass band or the ticker tape parade? I thought you'd see things my way. Ultra Force. The deal was you all do this photo op together. Aren't they right behind us? Yeah. Does the ship feel sluggish to you? I'm reading an exterior drag pulling us 20 degrees off course. <laughs> I can't stabilize! Hang on, kid! <laughs> That's contrary ship! Get the computer! Let's get out of here, now! No! It's storing the entity's message. We'll lose untold knowledge. We'll lose a lot more than knowledge if we stay here. Couldn't you have at least set coordinates for the ground? <laughs> Good to talk again. Now those bad boys know how to drop in with style. So what happened down there, kid? I don't know. The entity sent me some kind of message. I think it was thank you. If only we could have saved the information the entity gathered. Well, we didn't lose all of it. So... Do you regret losing your opportunity to go home? Destiny has brought me to this misbegotten world. I must accept it. Still, I couldn't ask for a better group of warriors to share my fate. That's right. We're an ultra force to be reckoned with. have been generated to stop them. A soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank, forcing the computer warriors down. Hiding in a Pepsi can, the computer warriors fight back and deliver a direct hit. But the viruses keep coming, so the computer warriors convert a clock into a digital laser blaster and wipe out the virus air attack. Yeah! Computer warriors, expect the unexpected. It's sold separately. Computer and pencil sharpener available for 1990 only from Mattel. Hey, I'm going to models. They had models for everything. I mean, seriously. Boom. Models for He-Man toys. They. Man, I don't. I don't. 
I don't even know why you need to make models and stuff you had to put together when you got it anyways. So that's from uh, the Mighty Avengers. <laughs> Go ahead. Back when you could get Frogger on, look at that, on your Intellivision, your Atari 2600, your Texas Instrument, your Commodore Vic, your Commodore 64, your Atari Home Computers, your Atari 5200, and your ColecoVision. You could get eight different versions of Frogger. Whew. Man. Now, just think, there was all those consoles at one time. Now there's what? Nintendo, or Nintendo. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. Pretty much you're done there. So, all right. Hope you guys liked Alter Force. I had fun bringing you Alter Force. Um, I, this kind of kept relatively close to the comics. Um, yeah, really close. Um, you know, you had to have uh, Heavy Metal Prime. You had his, his you know, Prime Evil. You had Lord Pumpkin. Rune. I mean, who would have guessed Lord Pumpkin would translate it that well? He did. There we go. But that was the last episode. D done. No more. But this next cartoon, there's three seasons of. That's a lot of episodes. And it's Canadian. And it's Martin Mysteries. So, you guys have been asking for more Martin Mysteries. Some of you guys were like, I didn't know it was available in America. It wasn't. This is just, I, I found it, was bringing it to you. Uh, did not air in America. Um, aired in the 2000s. Uh, wasn't even sure if it's a Saturday morning cartoon. I liked it. Uh, you all liked it. So, we continued bringing you Martin Mysteries. And this is episode uh, three The Creeping Slime. So, enjoy. We just can't get that drill down, boss. Swords too heavy. Keep trying. So do we strike oil? So do we get off this thing? What in the name? Oh, it's oh, it's everywhere. Creeping slime. If I cut, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. I have math in 20 minutes. Hey! <laughs> Java, what's the deal? Looks like Java has his eye on Polly Potswaggle. Way to go, Jay. <laughs> Psst, Java, ask her out on a date. No, it's like you're out of Thursday surprise, Java. <clears throat> Dinner. No, no, silly. This is lunch. I'll have Chef bring you some more. <laughs> nice try, but it looks like you could use a little help in the dating arena, pal. Don't you dare listen to him, Java. See, when it comes to girls' job, you have to be suave and sophisticated while projecting an aura of hip and happening. You perfect that attitude, and the girls will come run it to you. More like running for cover. You just need to be yourself. Watch and learn. Huh? <laughs> oh. So, you want to go out and get some pizza with me after the game? <gasps> Why, I'd love to, Chet. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you know? What? Duty calls. The center.
Martin Mystery, clear. Diana Lombard, clear. Jabba the Caveman, clear. Okay, Jabba. Mm -hmm. Rule number one, be cool at all times. Hmm. Hey, 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 baby, hey, hey. Not bad. Keep working on it. Hey, what are you up to, guys? Here we go. Oh, hey, Billy. I'm giving Job a few tips on how to increase his dateability. He's already mastered double guns. Ooh, teach me too. Hey. Oh, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, ooh. Listen, you three. Girls like sweet. Girls like romantic. Girls do not like lame moves and lines. You mean like that lame move you put on Chet in the cafeteria? <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Rag! What's it do? <laughs> it's used to map the nervous system of this specimen. Though it seems you found another less intellectual use. We picked up an SOS from an offshore drilling platform near this island chain in the South Pacific. Offshore? I bet one of those killer giant uh. squids is to blame. Oh, please. Java, remember what I taught you? Cool. Transformed into goo by some kind of molecular descrambler. <laughs> Lovely. Now, do you have any real ideas? Come inside. Yeah. Follow Java. If we can get this to work, maybe there's a record of outgoing transmissions. Good idea. But first, let's see what kind of tricks I've got up my sleeve. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Maybe the slime scan can give us the skinny on this drippy mess. This is an oil rig. Has it occurred to you it might be oil? Whoa, no oil. But we've got some major supernatural mojo working here. This stuff is off the chart. <laughs> Very uncool, Java. We got something. This is Clark from Platform 059er. Something's come on board. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It's done something to my men. I'm gonna try to get to a life raft and get off of it. Quick, follow me! Wanna go for a ride? Come on, Java, it's this or swim! Okay, up, down, left, right. Oh, this should be easy. Now, how do you turn this thing on? Just kidding, sis. survivors from the platform may go here. Change course. No problemo. Now, let's see what this baby can do. Now that's what I call a 10-point landing. On a 100-point scale, maybe. We definitely won't be flying back on that thing. Or taking the boat. The oars are still attached. Looks like someone made it off that platform. And it looks like whatever's leaving the slime behind made it back, too. <sighs> Why does it always have to start with a trail of slime? 
So remember, it always helps to have a compliment or two memorized, Java. Try one. Mm. Java say, nice hairs. Don't worry, Java. I'll give you some real advice. I'm getting a weird feeling about this place. Haven't you noticed it's completely silent? And look, all the plants that are touched by the slime are withered away. What is it, Java? Something coming. Transporter fixed. Hi, guys. What's sh sh shaking? Billy, are you all right? I'm cool. I have some data on that slime sample you took. Quite troubling. The residue has no trace of DNA, but an energy signature that's mostly human. Sounds like whatever is on the leaving end of that slime is gonna be trouble. Forgive me if I don't stick around to find out. This place is way too creepy for me. Good luck. <laughs> This place really doesn't seem all that creepy. It's actually very exotic. No, wait! Look, it's a person. Hello? Can you hear me? What happened to him? It's like his vital force was just sucked out. <sighs> Came out of nowhere. Couldn't stop it. <sighs> We better get him some help. Java Strong will carry. We have found many others like him. All of them the men who come to take the oil. We found evidence of supernatural activity. Have you seen anything unusual around here? You speak of the black slime? Yes, I have seen it. On the far side of the island where the intruders make their camp. That man, who is he? But I, I swear I... Maybe you can point us to where you found the slime. Where are we? Java think this bad place? Must be the oil company's base camp. Hello? Anyone here? I don't think we'll find anyone. Do you hear that? Yeah. It's this way. It's some sort of passageway. And there's more slime in here. be something really big up ahead for someone to go through all that trouble. I think that qualifies. Tiki malo shaka, oh no tiki malo shaka, oh no tiki malo shaka. That's him! It's the shaman from the village! And they've got the guy from the oil platform too! I don't understand! What are they doing with him? Looks like some kind of ceremony. Wake him! My men! What did you do to my men? Your men got what they deserved, as will you! You watch activated. Legend X selected. Are you getting this? Every word is summoning something called the Black Spirit. You have fouled our land. You have ignored our humble requests to leave us in peace. Now you will pay. Oh, no, 
Malo Shaka. Oh, no, Tiki Malo Shaka. Oh, no, Tiki Malo Shaka. I don't think he has control over that thing. Oh, no, Tiki Malo Shaka. Oh, no, Tiki Malo Shaka. Oh, no, Tiki Malo Shaka. Oh no, Tiki Malo Shaka! Oh no, Tiki Malo Shaka! Oh no, Tiki Malo Shaka! I'm willing to bet Dr. Headshrinker's getting some help from that amulet. If we can get it away from him... Uh, it's too late! So it's feeding off people! Oh, we need to stop this maniac before he brings it back for more. Oh, no. This is definitely one of those times where we call for backup. Why call backup when you have 300 pounds of Neanderthal muscle? What do you say, Joe? Huh? Ready to go caveman on these guys? Java no like bad men. Uh-oh. Oh. <sighs> Way to go, Martin. Sorry, sis. Sneak attack just isn't my style. You okay, Jav? Drop a seat too, Martin. Trespassers! How dare you defile the sanctity of this ceremony! You three shall suffer the same fate as your friend. Whoa, hold on there, pal. We, we don't even know this guy. the same thing the shaman was wearing around his neck. And look, no slime. That black spirit hasn't been here. These gems must have the power to control and repel it. Did you see that? That was oil. These combined with oil are what makes the black spirit. Listen, something's down here. It's the missing oil workers. Why are they all in here? Huh? I had no choice but to hide them. My people are too kind and trusting. They would never approve of my summoning the Black Spirit. With good reason. You can't even control that thing. But I must protect my people. Oh no, Tiki Malo Shaka! Oh no, Tiki Malo Shaka! Doesn't he get it? We're the good guys! Martin, do something! You fools! Now no one is safe! You've doomed us all! I don't like the sound of this. It's in too many places. We need to stick together. Distracted. 
When it moves out of the way, run for the exit. What? You're crazy! <laughs> does it again though these men were not welcome here we are happy to see them safe no thanks to my dead perfect aim and killer throwing arm oh, give your ego a rest will you so I have you to thank for helping us out here our board of directors will be pleased to learn there won't be any further delay in our operation don't be so sure your operation is in violation of international treaty my friends here are to see that you get home <laughs> and stay there. You are a brave young man and have the thanks of our village and of this foolish old shaman. Hey, no problem. Turn after these messages. Somewhere yeah. out there, someone needs yeah. Dr. Henry's emergency lessons for people. Yeah. Dudley Spiffington is dazzling on the courts, not with his game, with his whiter than white. Some dazzling white tennis balls, please. Oh, oh my finger! Oh, my white! First, be calm and calm him down. Okay? Now, look at the blood. It's not so bad. It washes dirt out and helps heal the cut by clotting. This cut is bleeding quite a bit, so press down with a clean cloth, hold several minutes, and don't keep looking underneath. This is direct pressure and should stop the bleeding. Now, wash it gently and wrap it in a sterile dressing. If a cut keeps bleeding or is deep, keep up the pressure and get to a doctor right away. Matt Dudley, what a dud. Coming soon, Chester Wedding Bells Hockmeyer says... The galaxy explodes. The Rebels return. You can relive it all with Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Rebel attack squad ahead. New Imperial shuttle. You have to put it together. Batteries not included. Action figures each sold separately. After him. Excellent, Lord Vader. Death Star signaling. Ring up. Prepare to land. Landing you down. Ramp engaged. This battle station better be ready or... 
Yes, my Emperor. New Imperial Shuttle. Action figures sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. That's right. Star Wars, the arcade game. Boom. I have Star Wars, the arcade game. It plays nothing like this. Uh, I love Star Wars, the arcade game. I play the hell out of that every once in a while. It's one of the few games that I start playing, uh, and then I realize like two hours have gone by. Because you just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. And it's the music and everything. And I love Star Wars. And I got my... I'm a sucker for that console. So, what I've asked this before, we'll ask it again. What was your favorite arcade game? I'm, I'm a sucker for the Star Wars arcade game, but I was also a sucker for like Gauntlet and Golden Axe and the X-Men game and the Avengers game. Those, those multiplayer games, love those. But I hope you guys liked the Martin Mysteries. Uh, yeah, like I said, three seasons of that show. I've got a lot of episodes, and I don't know if I'm gonna bring them. I'm not. I don't know if I'll bring them all to you all at once uh, every week. But uh, you know what? There's a lot of them. We might just leave Martin Mysteries in rotation for a while. I don't know. But we're gonna bring you the magnet feeded little action figures themselves. Uh, the Space Mask Knockoff, that is brought to you by the Young Astronauts. That's right. And Coca-Cola. And that's Starcom. Uh, this is Starcom. This is episode six. Um, man, I'm on, I'm on the lookout now. I think I, I think I at least want me one piece of Starcom toys. Just so I could put it right back here somewhere. On a shelf. That Starcom toy, like, just hanging out. I don't know. Um, but this is, like I said, Starcom Episode 6, Galactic Heartbeat. Enjoy! Yes. So, Emperor Dark has come up with some new kind of EMP device. It's supposed to be able to knock out anything electronic, even through shielding. We're going to test it on Mars. That's what I like about you, Torbeck. Your sparkling conversation. So, this is the new F-1400 Starwolf, huh? Well, it's just like the others. On the outside, maybe. But the new engines are really hot. They call it the Razor. Oh, why's that? Because it'll be the sharpest thing in the air. Yeah? So how come they're letting you fly it? Oh, that's easy. They need the good pilots for backup. That's us. Thousands of comedians out of work, and I got two of them right here. I've disabled their comm net. They can't call for help. We can set up the new device now. Good. I love this ship. Don't get used to it, Slim. This Martian test flight is the last one. Don't remind me. Are you ready for the vertical ascent, Starwolf? That's affirmative, Chase One. Let's see this bird climb. Whoa! It's like riding an elevator. Smooth as glass in here. It is done. The EMP device is completed. Excellent. Begin the tests. The device is now online. Ready to be activated. Be my guest, Tim.
Пока. Slim, what's the matter? Do you copy? Slim, Slim, come in. The Emperor would prefer it if you aimed at something on the planet instead of empty space. Decline 20 degrees. I'm open to a better idea. Slim has an ejected. His canopy must be jammed. It'll have to be open from outside. Magnalock on. Okay, here goes. Copy that. Good luck. from the rift outposts half of the dome cities on mars have lost all power some kind of pulse weapon but the domes are shielded not against this Continue to shut down anything that moves. The test must continue. Any idea what caused it? Crowbar says it's some new EMP device. It scrambles all electronic circuits, even shielded ones. He's working on a counter effect. Meanwhile, Starcom is evacuating all personnel to the Rift cities. That'll help for now, but with the oxygen generators down, the air in the rift canyons will only last a few days. Crowbar's gotten a fix on the origin of the pulse. We've got to get there and stop it. Stop it? How? With our bare hands? None of our vehicles will run. I've got a force field rig that might stop the effects of the EMP. I've only got enough power to protect these three Starcom vehicles. It'll have to do. And I've got a heading on the pulse. Looks like it's coming from the Kabe Power Commune south of here. All right, let's roll. Report that two laser rats and one rail gunner have left the Starcom base and are heading this way. So, what can three small vehicles do? Perhaps nothing, or perhaps much. 
It depends upon who is inside. So, give them a little shot of rhythm and shut them down. So far, so good. Emperor Dark, the three Starcom vehicles don't seem to be affected by the pulse, Emperor. Really? How oh, very interesting. What should we do? I do not wish for this test to be disturbed. Oh, Torvek. Emperor Dark does not wish for this test to be disturbed. Understood. like we've got company. Now why doesn't that surprise me? I've got a reading, guys. Shadow Force Invaders on Intercept Court. Grobar, what are you reading? Nothing organic, Dash. The drivers are all robots. Why don't we show these tin cans how Starcom takes care of business? Right. Scramble pattern. Now!
This might take a while. Crowbar, you've got to get to the commune to disable the EMP generator. We'll keep these Shadow Force robots busy. You heard the man. Get going. Right. Good luck. Report. Progress is being made. Have your robot drones stopped the Starcom vehicles yet? Not yet. Is that all you have to say? Progress is being made. Ugh. I'd better try to go in alone. Remember our plan when you see the guys coming. You got it. Good luck. No problem. It'll take a little while to fix that, though. This will attract too much attention. Come forward and identify. Oh, look! Your shoelace has come untied. Somebody ought to work on these logic circuits. Haven't your robots finished the Starcom vehicles yet? What is it? A slight complication. You wondered earlier what three Starcom vehicles could do? Yes. So? It seems that my robot drones and invaders have all been destroyed. Julian's trip will work on four at once. I'll need a better diversion. Robot, how are you doing in there, buddy? Not bad. Do you think you could create a little noise out there? Get their attention. I think I might manage that. Let me guess. That small problem you mentioned earlier. So it would seem. Attention all drones, repel attackers. I hope Crowbar had enough time to disable the EMP device. I want to shut it down without damage. Hey! Oh. 
Oh well, no time to do it right. Call in the troop carriers, Dash. The EMP generator is out of commission. Best we leave. Suppose Emperor Dark actually built it himself? What is it that he wants? Now there's the question of the week. The Emperor will not be pleased. He's never pleased. sold separate. Sleek racing cars with one-of-a-kind Fast Ones license plates. All 50 states and every plate is different. Plus, every Fast Ones racer has a cutout certificate of ownership. You can race them, you can collect them. The other Fast Ones. Fast Ones! Fast Ones Blaze and Bandit. Other Fast Ones racers sold separate from Kenner. Hey, remember when there wasn't a West Coast Avengers yet? This is the first issue of West Coast Avengers. Uh, I love it. Who's going to make the team? Oh, it's not going to be Rom. Uh, it's not going to be Puck. Is it going to be this redhead chick right here? I don't know. Uh, is it the Shroud? Is it Ant-Man? Is it Cyclops? No, it's not Cyclops. Um, but it is a couple of my favorite Avengers. So, hmm. I, I, I used to really like West Coast Avengers. Which we, that's what we should have done. It should have been Avengers. Instead of getting new Avengers coming out in the movies, we should have got West Coast Avengers. <laughs> the Avengers B-Team. Yeah. So, I hope you guys liked Starcom. Uh, Starcom is such a fun cartoon. Um, it took itself seriously without taking itself seriously. I don't know if that makes sense or not. but uh, it's, it's a touchy-feel. The way it feels to me. So... We're going back, back to the Stone Age. No, we're not back that far. We're going back to extreme dinosaurs. Um, I, I'm, I'm putting something together with that. We're, maybe we'll do a week, uh, a week of just anthropomorphic characters. So it'll be everything from kissy fur to street sharks to extreme dinos, all that fun stuff. But this is extreme dinos. Um, I don't have the first toy from Extreme Dinosaurs. I don't have nothing from Extreme Dinosaurs except for what I'm bringing to you right now. Um, I don't. I don't know. I, I. I was off the radar. I was older. I was an adult by the time this cartoon came out. Um, but I just kind of like it now. It's very dated and uh, very fun. Uh, very goofy. I don't know. I like. There's something about goofy cartoons that I just love. Um, but this is Extreme Dinosaurs, Episode 7, and this is Saurian Sniffles. Yo, Burgundy, you on this? You'll never cut the mustard, mean winner! <laughs> Food fight! Food Your history, credit pizza! Pow! And your lunch! Come back, Clarence! Fire! What's going on? Jerusalem is food again, Mom. Food fighters, figures in combat cut and each sold separately. Toys do not walk and talk. Get ready to ride the giant. Start with 16 wheels of pure climbing power. Add grip jaw and turbojet. And watch it climb. 
The vertical climbing system that goes straight to the top. The giant grip joint turbo jet sold as a system or separately, batteries not included. Another power machine from Galoob. If they would redo, redo extreme dinosaurs, man, they would come from the center of the earth and they would actually rule the earth the entire time. Because now everybody's afraid of the reptoids. Not me. I'm not afraid of reptoids because they're not real. So, <laughs> I hope you guys liked extreme dinosaurs. And on that note, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tell you guys about some vinyl, I guess. Because everybody asked me when I put this stuff up. I'm having a blast putting it up. Um, this isn't my normal listening, but uh, I did like, I did really like the uh, Blade Runner Black Lotus soundtrack. Um, you know, I do have, I do have Blade Runner, the original on vinyl. Uh, I need to get uh, Blade Runner 2049 on vinyl, but I don't have it yet. Uh, same way with the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I haven't even opened that one yet. That is literally one I bought just to have. And I'm a sucker because I'll listen, to, I'll listen to all my vinyl usually. Uh, somebody asked me, you know, do you, do you even the, the low print ones? I was like, I got one that's one of a hundred. And I listen to it because I bought it to listen to. Um, that one I bought to collect because I, I really liked it. And it is a picture disc, but they put the picture disc in a sleeve, which is silly. I don't, I don't know why you do that, but it is a picture disc. Yeah. But that being said... We're going to go through the rundown. Remember, every Monday, except for last Monday, because I was, I just needed a break. So I took a break last week, and I didn't bring you a new episode of Group Therapy TV podcast. Uh, but I have some coming up and some in the can, so we will be bringing you for the next at least four weeks. Um, Side Fridays, every Friday night at 8 a.m. 8, 8, 8 that's, that's what you're watching right now. It's, it's Saturday morning serials at 8 a.m. Side Fridays is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday morning serials, you're watching that right now at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can check us out on the Monster Channel. Saturday morning serials is on the Monster Channel. And soon, all of my other shows will be on the Monster Channel too. So, you won't be able to get rid of me. I'll be everywhere. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll see if I can get put on some other channels too, so I can just spread out like a ah, like a big cloaked figure, like ah. I don't know. Making stuff up. So you know, I'm gonna to try to put a cartoon here at the end. Um, I legitimately did this one because I forgot this one existed. Which I shouldn't have, um, because it is definitely a product of its time. Um, so hopefully you can air that you can see this cartoon. Um, it is goofy, and don't take it seriously. Have fun with it. Um, and on that note, uh, I'm out of here. You guys all have a good weekend, good day. Remember, I guess I need to tell people this because uh, I never do. Is uh, like subscribe. Uh, check us out on our Patreon at patreon.com backslash group therapy TV. Every little bit helps. Uh, the captain is trying to get himself a chair. I'm going to me a nice comfortable chair. Uh, got me a new microphone so that we can, when I do shows, I can have two microphones. Um, so we got that going and we're going we're to keep going. And I'm going to try to get me some nice stuff that, that for the show. So I'm going to let you guys go. You guys all have a good day, good afternoon, good whenever you're watching this. I want to say a shout out to everybody. Johnny, Wayne, Charms, Abe, uh, Maria, uh, Lady Cat, um, Maddie Bot, um, Robert, Rob, Way Out Toys, um, man. I'm sorry if I forget, if I didn't forget. I, I apologize. But all you guys that show up every Saturday morning, boom! You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Um, I have a blast with you guys every Saturday morning when I can, because uh, sometimes the captain has things to do on Saturday mornings too, and I try to be as here as much as possible. But uh, on that note, I want you all to take care. I'll see y'all there.
Captain out. Check it out, check it out. But there's nothing like being in a real school. Some strange people out there are him. Check it out, check it out, I. Um. Hamlet is crazy. He thinks he's the craziest dude, man. School's a big part of a kid's life. Read a book, man. Go to the library, you know what I'm saying? It's one-on-one, -on -one and you can learn, you know, more. But sometimes you just want to be with your friends and hang out and goof around. Back in them days, you couldn't really express your feelings. <laughs> Good. Okay, and got back at you. Someday just go into a, a regular school with regular kids and just have a normal day of school. Little news. And now back to new kids on the block. Most kids my age go to school with other kids. Sweet deal. Me? I'm number one in my class. Number one and only. is not happening. Had to bust out. Done already? Must have jammed on your homework. Well, no. That's why I left. I mean, I'm solo in there. Gotta do your homework, Joe. Hey, wait! Come back! Joe? Uh, uh Joe? I, I need a status report. Uh, still on that math assignment? Uh, sorry, Einstein. Looks good, Teach. Coming right along. Perhaps this would be an apt opportunity for a break. Hey, Nick. Uh, Mr. Scott, I believe we should discuss Joe. I knew the day was going too smooth. What's wrong? I believe Joe longs for an educational environment with normal peer interaction. You mean he wants to go to a regular high school? Just for one day. Come on, John. Today? Right now? No way. Quit riffing, John. We got time before the show. Jordan's right. Joey Joe here hardly got a chance to see what high school was like. Yeah, thanks, Danny. I'd just like to try out a school that doesn't have four wheels. How am I ever going to know what I'm missing if I don't check out the scene? Step off, John. We owe this to Joe. Okay, Donnie, but you're forgetting about... Word up, gentlemen. Biscuit! B-Man, our favorite bodyguard. Just talking about you, B-Man. You got to try out our chill and new video game. Sorry, Nico. Game time. <laughs> this game was custom made just for us. Hey. Huh? Well, let's check it out. A new kid's game. Oh, I get it. You on the run, and I'm on the job. Now, this is a video game I can't lose. <laughs> Keep it down, Nico. Genius at work. Oh, I lost. The new kids snuck away again. Hello. Here you go, Joe. Riverside High. Gotta look in. In disguise. Hold it. Gotcha. I'd know that look anywhere. You're a new kid. Uh, no. Uh, actually, I'm... What's the prob? So you just moved into the school district. No biggie. Whew. Guess not. I'm Joe. Stevie. I snap pics for the school paper. I got free period until lunch. You want my official new kid tour? New kid tour? 
yeah! Sounds hype! I want to do it all! Relax, bud. You do have all year. High school! Feels like I never left. This is happening. Better lay low and chill. We're on dangerous ground here. so hyped by Showtime. That's right. This school is concert day crazy. New kids have the best fans in the world. But in the hours before show, a weird thing happens. Concert day crazy. This machine shows the fan fun factor for band X. The New Kids Fan Fun Factor. Here's a typical New Kids fan the day before the concert. Now watch what happens as we count down the concert time. No doubt about it, on concert day, the best defense is to stay out of sight. So you see, we're not safe here. You really know how to party, John. We gotta hang with Joe. Okay, if we have to hide, let's at least do it in the gym. I could use a good workout. I'm not gonna see much of the school from a dark room. Correction. You will see all, you will know all. Observe. The student body has its brains. Its muscle. And its backbone. And where do you fit in? I don't. <laughs> I mean, I just keep an eye on what everyone else is doing. Yeah, but isn't the best part of high school hanging with all the other kids? Yeah, I guess. You know, whatever. I'm not the only new kid around here, am I? Yeah. My parents move every year. I figure why bother making friends if you're just gonna have to leave them? I'm on the move a lot, too. You just gotta make the most out of where you are and what you've got. So let's go check out the school. For real. They did it again! No, no, it can't be. It's doing so well. Rehearsed and ready. All right, all right. What happened? I wish I knew. We were all messing and stuff. One minute, new kids. Next minute, no kids. <laughs> School books. <laughs> Einstein said that Joe wanted to try out a real school. I didn't think he meant today. Man! The new kids in high school without their bodyguard? We better move. New kids on the block. Ugh. I love the new kids. They're so cute. If I ever meet those guys, I'll show them who's got the right stuff. I'd like to take on those dudes on the football field. Football? You're on. Let's put the ball. What? Who are you? We're the new kids on the team. All right, let's suit up. They call me Bruce. And it's a beautiful day at Riverside High, the home of the Buccaneers. It's third period, Jim, and we're looking at an exciting scrimmage today. The upstart new kids are about to take on Bruce and the undefeated Riverside Buccaneers. There's the kick. Anybody got a game plan? Run fast. Run very, very fast. Ward receives on the five-yard line. Here comes Bruce. Ooh, excellent action shot. Just watching things happen is really whacked. You gotta get into it. You don't get around. It doesn't look good. 
for the new kids. Can Joey Joe Mack bring this team back to its former glory? We'll find out after this. And now, back to New Kids on the Block. Let's take another look at that spectacular pop in helmet crushing slow motion. Oh, oh. did I get first down? <laughs> Try worse down. Can't watch my crew lose. Let's posse up. Yeah, we're gonna spin and we're gonna win. Our way. Are you ready to rock? Yo! Amazing! The new kids are coming back strong. Look at those moves! They're tap dancing! Touchdown! Jumping Joey Joe Mack brings home the bacon! Where'd you learn to play ball like that? Uh, we've been playing together for uh, a long time. <laughs> no doubt. You're one tough team. <laughs> we sure are. Hey, you want to grab some chow with us? Cool. I'm starving. Hey, Stevie, lunch? I'll catch you there. I got some picks I want to develop first. We better get shaken before the calf gets too crowded. Perfect. A crowded cafeteria. <laughs> No, kids. I think you can take your helmets off now. I'm starving. Okay, but eat fast. Huh? The seventh school we've checked. Did they go all the way back to Boston to find a high school? I think seven's our lucky number. <laughs> oh, here we go again. No, couldn't be. Wow. Kids are the new kids. Bruise, no duh. I hate the new kids. A minute ago, you were having lunch with them. How was I to know? Come on, we've got to help them. folks the new kids on the block versus new kids on the block fans it's the matchup of the century incredible Jordan Knight is down folks no wait Biscuit makes the save he's at the third the ten touchdown just so spike me okay We'll never make it to the limo! Yo! This way! Move it, guys! 
studying solo. Hey, you see, they zero sweat. We'll make it to the stadium. But it's gonna take hours. By now, they've already started the concert countdown. Concert countdown with your host, me, Rip Pitkin, coming to you live from backstage at Riverfront Stadium, where the new kids will soon hit the stage. Right now, we're going live to their dressing room for an exclusive pre-show interview. <laughs> The new kids are missing. We interrupt a special report to bring you a special report. The new kids are missing. Eyewitness reports indicate that they were kidnapped by space aliens. Oh, no, it can't be. Big time band. Never make it. We're going to be late. We've never been late for a show. <laughs> There it is! Riverfront Stadium dead ahead! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy, man. The homeboys are home free. Never miss a show. We're a pretty good team, Bruce. Yeah, but the homecoming committee's gonna kill me. They'll have to get past me first. Land Ho, dude. And, uh, <clears throat> when did you first meet the, uh, <clears throat> new kids on the block? <laughs> this is Rip Pipkin live with the new kids! Sorry, man. Showtime. But, uh, but I... Okay, let's do it! Joe, you got a minute? Uh, sorry I caused so much trouble. Well, you could go to a regular school if you were a regular kid. If it means that much to you, I guess you could... Quit the group? That'd be unreal, Joe. Oh, oh don't Joe, do that, Joey. Yeah, Joe, no, that. no. Awesome day. You new kids know how to have a blast. <laughs> Your music ain't bad either. <laughs> it's more than partying and music. It's about friendship. That's what being a new kid's all about. Thanks for reminding me. 
This is where I belong. What's up next, Doc? ABC Kid Time presents Wacky Rabbit Fun with new Bugs and Tweety cartoons. Tonight, find out who will win a quarter of a million dollars in the final contest of Super Jeopardy. Then, from the producer of America's Funniest Home Videos, a preview of this fall's new series, America's Funniest People.